50% of the total population lives in the many slums on the peripheries of the capital, Kampala. Well, as the people here live in this environment of poor garbage and human excreta disposal, they are well aware of the dangers of leading such a life. Many would like to change this, but they do not have what it takes to achieve this on their own. The challenges in this area include the poor unplanned infrastructure, where people have constructed houses so close to each other and they have not made provision for access to their, to their houses, such that when Facilities like toilets and latrines in this place, when they get filled and they are expected to be emptied, they cannot be emptied because the cesspool emptiers cannot gain access to this place. So the, the alternative, what these people use, is just to, 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 to break or to demolish part of the pit and empty the contents in a shallow pit around the drain, which eventually ends up into the drain whenever it rains. It is business as usual this morning in Kamuli, a rural district 150 kilometers east. The World Health Organization reported cases of malaria in the country have increased from around 3.5 million in 2000 to more than 11 million in 2008, despite bed net distribution programs. Research shows that the country has the highest malaria transmission reported in the world with the incidence rates of 478 cases per 1,000 of the population per year. Malaria is the leading cause of morbidity and accounts for 14% of all hospital deaths, 40% of all outpatient visits to hospital, and 25% of all hospital admissions. Children and pregnant women are the most affected group with a disease responsible for causing almost half of all deaths in children under five years of age and a third of deaths during pregnancy. The number of children dying of malaria in Uganda is estimated to be between 70,000 and 100,000 a year, a death toll that far exceeds that of HIV AIDS. <music> A case study by National Justice and Peace Commission and research by other partners shows the impact of internal conflict to Karamoja. Yeah, 